that do magic, love spells and hexes and shit, most of them don't tell anyone. If that's in secret. Some of them are even in whole ass covens with other niggas. And they've been doing shit, according to the moon cycle, most of the time. And magic is inherently evil. Where it gets sticky is when you have somebody using magic, like love spells, to manipulate you. To get control over you. And I had that happen to me with my narcissistic abusive ex. When you have, like, an unnatural draw to somebody, pull to somebody, when you shouldn't be attracted to them. Like, he fucking, he cheated on me, like, in my face. And, like, kicked me out of his house. And I knew, and I didn't want to be with him. I remember I was at my best friend's house, laying in the backyard, crying. And then I felt like this pull. It was like, vroom, vroom, vroom. That's how it felt. And it was like, I have to be with him. And it also could be, like, a part of the trauma bond. But I'm telling you, it was magic. So when somebody does, like, a love spell, magic, enchantment on you... Then, then you kind of get rose-colored glasses about them, and they're more attractive than they are. Once I figured this out later on, and I broke the love spell, I saw him again, and he was so fucking ugly. Ugh, brother, ugh! Like, in, in all fairness, he probably was really ugly before, you know? Ha! <laughs> so that's just a warning from the girls, like... A guy that's doing magic on you, he's gonna keep your hair. He's gonna keep your, like, your underwear's gonna go missing. Objects of yours are gonna go missing. Don't let him steal your underwear. The dudes that practice...